Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> long, long process though, and absolutely heartbreaking at times. I mean, you went through an awful, awful lot of trauma, didn't you, Rosie? Yes, it was It was really hard. Um, and yeah, you sort of feel, you know, you're living under a bit of a black cloud all the time. But, um, but then finally, after a lot of IVF, it did yeah. actually work. So. It's really, it's really tough though. And I mean, and I know most people talk about that from the women's point of view. Mm. What I really like about the book is, it is a his and her guide because you write about it from your point of view and what you've been going through as well. Well, also there wasn't one. We did, you know, bizarre. No, there, there isn't. wasn't a his and hers. We thought, no. well, you know, men are largely ignored by the process because it's, it is mostly about the woman. Sure. And I'm, my argument was, particularly the first time we did, we did IVF because it, it failed because of, yeah. of me. I couldn't do my, by my business. And you think, <laughs> no, well, you but, but it was a basic thing, we need, you know, if I'd known this, the, the, the things you can do about that, which we yeah, put in there, exactly, uh, exactly. a whole IVF cycle failed because of that. You think, well... Just because you couldn't produce... Well, I wasn't like engaged with it. I couldn't... The ultimate performance anxiety. I know, and it's great, and we can laugh about it now because oh, you've got your wee yeah. baby yeah. and it's all fine, but that must have been absolutely oh. yeah. devastating for both of you. Yeah. Absolutely devastating. It's so, so difficult. But I like this. I'll tell you I like it. It's really factual. Loads and loads of information in there. If you want to go down the process of IVF, it's all in there. But you've also got some humour in there, as I would expect. Yeah, but also, <laughs> I, I, know, I didn't read IVF books. I mean, men don't read them. No.